American racing driver dies after being hit by Tony Stewart's car. An American racing driver has died after being struck by the car of three-time NASCAR champion Tony Stewart during a local sprint race in New York. Stewart and Kevin Ward Jr., 20, had collided on the previous lap of the dirt track race on Saturday. Ward then climbed out of his car and was on track confronting Stewart when he was struck by the American's car. Stewart, 43, has cancelled plans to compete in Sunday's NASCAR Sprint Cup race at Watkins Glen. We were talking last night and through the night, and we gave Tony some time to sleep it, said his team manager Greg Zipadelli. This morning he feels strongly that this is the right thing to do. We at Stewart Haas Racing strongly support it and agree with it. The American, who frequently competes at local sprint car events, was questioned by police and released. Ontario County Sheriff Philip Overo said, Stewart was fully cooperative and appeared very upset he did. This is right now being investigated as an on-track crash, and I don't want to infer that there are criminal charges pending. When the investigation is completed, we will sit down with the district attorney and review it. But I want to make it very clear, there are no criminal charges pending at this time. The sheriff has asked people who recorded video of the crash to provide copies for investigators to review. Stuart Haas Racing, the NASCAR team of which Stuart is co-owner, said in a statement, a tragic accident took place last night during a sprint car race, in which Tony Stewart was participating. Tony was unhurt, but a fellow competitor lost his life. Our thoughts and prayers go out to his family and friends. We are still attempting to sort through all the details, and we appreciate your understanding during this difficult time. The track, which hosted a local dirt track event at Can and Agua Motorsports Park, located 30 miles southeast of Rochester, in upstate New York, cancelled the remainder of the race within five minutes of the incident.